How you doing, YouTube? All right, I'm gonna make this one quick. So I had a couple requests asking what this magic wand thing is, and I have a few different varieties here. They're all fairly similar, all based off the same principle. Uh, let me zoom in on this one. Okay, so all it is is four LEDs in series with a resistor uh, the value of which does not seem to make that much of a difference okay and then the resistor has to be closest to the antenna it seems to work best when the resistor is really close to the antenna I, I can't explain it but if I put the antenna here or somewhere else uh, the output is low like this one over here for instance does not work very well this one here does not work as well as, as these other ones right here okay these are all the same this was the one of the first ones I made it still works pretty good uh, they make fantastic power meters um, Judging, uh, they're great for tuning the Tesla coil. Like you know, you tap the torque and you you create that initial resonance, and the thing kicks over. This thing is great for that. And then you can start stepping back. And the neat thing is, the the LED that's furthest from the resistor is the one that starts to light up first. And as you get closer to the coil, as you get closer to the coil, they all begin to light up. Alright, this one's a little different. Uh, this is something I've been playing around with and uh, I'm kind of careful with what I'm doing because I only have 10 of these LEDs. These are uh, 1 watt LEDs that are intended to be driven by uh, some kind of circuit involving a transistor. That's pretty much the most efficient way to drive these things. However, I get this guy to light brilliantly in this configuration right here that's all it is and there's the resistor value. So the resistor value does play a key role here I haven't really dialed that in yet um, however when I attach a ground wire to here on that node right there the, the thing glows as if it was in a mag light almost and I guess that's the kind of bulb this is so these are one waters I paid I paid, I forget how much I paid for these. Uh, I might take the time to go through the YouTube, the uh, eBay receipt. But I only have 10 of them. They were pretty expensive. I think shipped, I paid like 5 bucks for them or something like that. Which I guess isn't too bad because they're warm waters. But you should have a bag of LEDs somewhere. Um, my advice would be to try different configurations such as this. Um, I, I've yet to burn any of these out. Um, is you just need to pay attention to what direction they're going. You know, you have to make sure they're, you know, they're they're facing the right way. You know, you can't just string them together. You have to actually pay attention to the nodes, the anode, and the cathode, or it, it's just not going to work. Um, and if you do it in this configuration, you shouldn't you shouldn't blow any of these out. It'll it'll it, it turns out to be the the absolute perfect power meter. So yeah, grab your bag of LEDs. A, pair, a spare piece of insulated wire uh, and another piece of heavier, slightly heavier gauge wire and just solder it up. One more thing I want to throw in there is that uh, these things can have a huge, huge range. Uh, let's say for instance if I attach a ground wire to here right where my finger is and I have the Tesla coil on one end of my apartment and I stand way over there at the other end of the apartment um, I will get a reading off one of these LEDs especially if it's dark you will see the first one that usually starts glowing just faintly glow wherever you go in, in the room where that coil is uh, depending on how good the output of your coil, you'll, you'll see that if you actually ground this thing You'll be amazed at how far away you can actually get it to light up. I, I was pretty astonished. But yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll get back to you.